Hello everyone and welcome to new Rush Attack Alliance War video. It's a very fast war today and at the moment we are looking for some weaker targets to take out for a refresh later. Um, I was checking out this team. And they do have a Lady of the Lake. I could take my counter which would be Xiao Tu. Let's check out the other teams. I don't think that I need to save her for a different team, so I think that she'll fit right in. Oh I've got a great idea. for a team here. I'm gonna use Lord Loki. Or is it Overkill? It might be Overkill to be honest. Hmm. And what would be the last hero? I'm not used to attacking the weaker opponents first, so I'm not sure what to bring. I could do something like this. But the tank is quite strong though, so that's what scares me. However, we do, do have strong troops to counter it, so I think I'm gonna dare to attack. Barkley should theoretically work well in such a team. That's minion reliant. I don't particularly love having only two colors in rush attack. Let's see, is there anyone else worth copying? That might be interesting. Let's do it. Since Lady of the Lake is useless, we can ignore her for as long as Xiao Tu is alive. Okay, this worked well for now. Now let's start working on our reds. Perfect, that will just deal more damage to them. Mm, she heals, that's true. Uh, this will set up a green, a uh, red match, my bad. I'm afraid that Smart Tongue is firing here. That's not really optimal for us. Let's take out the right side first. Now we can ghost reds here. Um, the special still might miss because of the... And there's... There's no way all of them missed. There actually is. I'm I underestimating Ultragun. I should finish this match quickly before I regret playing so carelessly. Why did that deal so little damage? Oh, 
Okay, now we're definitely fine. But that did a surprisingly low amount of damage. Mm, I don't know. Barclay's damage is not the highest for sure. Moving on to our next opponent. I think we're gonna go for this team. Mr. Nick. Now the thing is... We don't want Ludwig to get going. Mm. Also the bleed from Varus can be... Difficult to deal with. I'm gonna bring my strongest attacking force. We could go with the Goldie to counter. Where is Goldie? To sort of counter the Owl. But we don't have a solution for Ludwig in that case. This can usually do well. But uh, since I believe this will be a drawn out fight, I think I'm gonna go with this. Since it is a rush attack, I'm gonna put the mm, legendary troop on Aslar because I believe he scales better with it. So in a drawn out fight we will have mm, Goldie and Kongala to help us. One more turn. That's not what we wanted to see. <laughs> oh, come on. This is just crazy. And I lose the map. Okay, I have it again. I don't think that Kongala alone can do enough damage, so I'm gonna try doing this. Not yet. Oh, come on. I have to waste all of my heroes because of that huge combo. We're not fine in that regard. Come on, what are dogs? I mean, one in five, but you know how I mean. Reflect, right? damage but maybe with a full hex score maybe 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 we do you know uh, the situation is quite a bit different when when uh, hammer clang is here to help oh well, this time the combo worked out in our favor but the first one yikes big yikes Almost ended up costing us. However, the game did play out pretty much as we called it. Exactly as we called it. Okay, guys, I have a really interesting idea for this team. Let's take a look at Gonium. 
Uh, it says that all allies get a defensive buff that increases and they recover 1000 HP every th three turns if this effect after three turns and turns if the effect is removed or replaced they recover 1400 instead the same goes for mana gets uh, they get 25% mana but if the effect is removed they get 35 so we don't want to dispel that really we do want to dispel dark feather and obakan and uh, let's see this guy is a cleanser so my idea here is we bring Demiloon and we bring Annabelle to dispel. Then we'll make a combination of teams. Now ideally ideally we can steal the buff with Demiloon. And activate Starwalker and then use Annabelle. Because Demiloon steals all buffs from the target and nearby enemies and randomly distributes them. So I can steal from three of them. So we can potentially steal the counterattack. And Dark Feather's ability. I think that's a, a proper good plan, but it will, of course, depend on some tiles as well. So we're looking for at uh, purples, yellows, and blues. I can make a purple match into a yellow diamond into another purple match and then we can steal the buffs no way that also counts as mm. okay I haven't thought that through but it does make sense first for sure <laughs> that's way more complicated uh, synergy than I thought Synergy with interaction, rather. They're going to heal up so much. Even despite having the dance effect on them. It never misses. That's why goblins are good here. They die. Yikes. Huge heal from Annabelle. And we're looking a lot better now. Hmm. 
I think the matching legendary troop as well as uh, the new alpha limit break on Annabelle are doing wonders. In making her relevant. Let's see how much damage my heroes do now with uh, plus 1k damage. A lot. And here. Even more. Okay, this attack also worked out exactly as planned. Even though it went harder than expected. But in the end, the end result was quite favorable for us. Let's continue, shall we, with uh, probably the toughest team of the bunch. I could do something like this. Actually, this seems solid. Probably the best that we can do. Still hella risky, but let's go for it. May the tiles decide our, decide our fate. Mm, this is okay-ish. Not what we need, though. Ah, come on. Have to prevent her from, from gaining mana. Okay, greens, greens, combo, more greens, not enough, oh that mana boost is crazy, hmm. that did not do nearly as much damage as I Oh, come on. She dodged, even though I have 60% chance to bite that. Uh, and her dodge chance is only 20%. That sucks for us. How the hell are they so strong? What? 4.6k HP? Why do they have so much health? Oh my god. Hmm. That was a bad mood. M mood, you <laughs> know, a bad move. I should have stopped the healer from firing. Especially since we didn't have any mana, so... Oh! Oh, lucky us! We have we had the mana generating bonus. Which means that uh, each tile did 400 damage. I overlooked that fact. fact. So... Oof, we, we did good. We had a bit of luck there. In any case, Lemonwood wouldn't have done much. So we could have used Gortooth here on Magiri. Anyways, it worked out really well. It looks like I found the perfect next next target. Three. Um, purples here. So this will be my team. Let's see what we can do. Zekana is great against Ludwig. 
but against purples in general. We have our yellows already. That's amazing. Hopefully this doesn't trigger too big of a combo. It didn't. That's also great. I can choose to kill him. Or give him waddles. I'm going to give him waddles. Make him fire. And then we can kill him. That was the only person I didn't want to hit with. Okay. Zekena. I wanted to kill him with Malin. I don't like the state of the board. No way. No way. I was just about to charge him. That's BS. Give me some yellows. Come on, you just give me some yellows. Okay, that was lucky. If only I had fired. Ludwig, this would have been so much easier. And also the board is kind of dead. I'm gonna hope that the second hit goes left. Good. Good. I have to take that calculated risk. Nice, we can heal. Oh, if she dies here, that would be amazing. It didn't happen, but at least her mana generation, uh, health regen is reduced. We're playing this so slowly, but safely. Let's cleanse first. Okay, another victory. I think Malin deserves to take revenge. Never mind. She did, but the blind was too much. Okay, one more to go. Lastly, I'm gonna take a clean because uh, I am out of resources. He's gonna be annoying, but I have an idea for this team. Uh, sure, we're gonna need a healer. I want Jabber. I want Mitsuko. What else do we want? Some greens, maybe. Hmm. More mana control, perhaps. I do have this guy. Why oh, France? Hmm. Should have used him earlier. He can be a good, a good hero, solid hero 
for rush attack even at his state. But I was talking about the Mulgog. I think it might be worth taking him. Let's go. Grimsteel is the only one that I don't have a solution for. Odar. Oh, dang it. I didn't check who was the... ...tank before attacking. Let's see if he dies here. Oh, the... Heal will disrupt my plans. Huge heal. He bypassed? He can bypass with a troop? Probably. Oh, that sucks. Play it slow. This should be enough. Just barely. Let's just bring it home safely. And Jabber for the win. Amazing. Whew, I was scared for this attack, but it did work out really well. And we are, wow, almost 400 points in a rush attack alliance war. To be fair, the teams that we faced are not as scary as uh, some of the ones that we've faced in the past, but it's still an accomplishment. So guys, that's it for today, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I wish to see you again in the next war video.